Hello everyone. So today I was working on a requirement where I had to restrict the issue creation based on some conditions like certain fields should be filled in blah blah blah. Now initially I worked on a validator because when you have a validator it could be script validator, it could be a simple validator. Then the restriction will happen in a way from the from a backend, right? Now when you have a, when you have a validator on the create initial transition, you know the issue will not be created unless that condition is filled in like no one can create an issue either directly from the ui or maybe using a rest api or maybe using some other automation but sometimes you have to allow clone now clone the way it works is it will eventually create an issue now when you have a validator even the clone will not work and that is why you need to have uh, in this case maybe a behavior because behaviors actually work on the browser it works on the client side and uh, when someone is filling up a form on uh, let us say you know a particular project and certain fields are not filled in then you can throw the error straight away and that is why i, I always say that uh, you should learn and uh, try to optimize the usage of uh, validators versus behaviors because uh, sometimes people actually miss like mix these two these two things uh, on the same screen. Imagine when you fill up a form, 